What's up, my friend? DK back here with this build a raw tutorial and review. And today we're going to dive into uh, getting your domain set up. We're also going to talk about tracking. So I'm going to try to keep these videos moving along uh, to make sure that you really have the essentials and the basics and everything you need for your build a raw account. Again, if you have not gone back and you have not watched the first video. So as an example, if you're subscribed to my channel and you're just catching this video for the first time down below this video is a link where you can go back to the beginning of the playlist. So make sure that you catch this from the beginning, because if you don't have a builder all account, this training and tutorial and review here that we're going to be doing is going to be kind of pointless for you. So you're going to want to make sure that number one, you have a builder all account. You've gone back to the first video and watch this in order. You got to make sure that you're watching these videos in order. So that way uh, you know exactly how to proceed, how to hook up all the information that I'm going to talk about and share with you. So today we're going to talk about domain setup and tracking. So again, if you don't have a builder all account right down below this video is that link. You can go check that out. And obviously, if you're just catching up here, you want to watch the first video to know 100 percent that why I am choosing Builderall and why I'm choosing to share all this information with you. I show you real life examples and also, uh, you know, you guys can go see that, see the open rates, see the capture pages and just know uh, why we're going through this video training series here. So what you're going to want to do is log into your Builderall main account. And once you do that, you're going to land on this page right here. So if you don't have a domain set up, that's going to be the very first thing that you're going to want to do. So right up here, you just kind of hold over apps and then you're going to see right here, there's a section called domain. You're gonna to wanna to go to buy a domain and click on that. This process here, relatively straightforward. Um, I've already done this, but just to kind of walk you through it right here. Yeah, let's go, go buy the domain. So figure out what you want to do, what domain you want to get. <coughs> oh, excuse me there. A little bit of a little bit of real life going on. Had a nice little sneeze. Uh, I just purchased this domain right here, uh, Daniel Kump Official. Uh, so if you click buy the domain, obviously I can't do that, but just walk through the process right here. Go ahead and buy the domain. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take it from the next step in the process after you get your domain. Okay. So once you've actually gone through and purchased your domain and go ahead and just follow the prompts, they're really easy to do, but go ahead and uh, get that domain purchased. Then what you're going to want to do is a couple of things. Okay. Once you get the domain, we're going to go again into apps and then over here where it says domain, and then we're going to go into DNS manager. Okay. DNS manager. So we're going to pop that open and this is going to be relatively straightforward. Now I want to mention, and I mentioned this in one of the other videos. I think I mentioned this in, in yesterday's video. If not, I'll explain it again really quickly. When you are mailing, okay, especially when you're mailing from the domain that you're going to be buying here through uh, Builderall, and that's why this is really, really important because Builderall is going to automatically put some pieces of code in your DNS for you. They're going to do that on your behalf. So as an example, if we go over here and you hit these little three dashes over here on the left, you'll see right here where it says domains, okay? So here's the domain that I just purchased uh, the other day, Daniel Kump Official. That is in the process of being verified, so it's not verified yet. This one here, and you're gonna see your domain's gonna set up, you'll be able to see it over here when you click on that. So this one here is verified. See right here where it says, this has been verified. All of this code right here, okay? All of this uh, fancy code right here, um, this gets added automatically. Okay, this gets added automatically by Builderall. So you don't have to do that, except we're going to double check one piece of code, which I want to let you know about. Okay, and it's a simple piece of code, and I'll show you how to install it just in case you guys look and it's not there. So, as an example, let me just show you what this looks like on the back end. Okay, so this is, uh, this is my Builderall email that went out this morning, and this is Gmail. And this is how you know that your emails are going to be landing in the inbox. Okay. So if you go into Gmail and then you go hit those three little dots over here on the right, you're going to hit show original. And this is the information that you're going to be looking for. And this is what is, this is why this is good that Builderall does this stuff automatically. So there's three different records. You have an SPF record, a DKIM record, and DMARC. And as you can see, pass, pass pass. This is virtually going to ensure that you always land in the inbox and you almost never hit the spam folder, unless you're just writing emails that are all about money grab and it's make money, make income, you know, blah, 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 blah. 
cheap, easy, free, and you're putting those cliche words in there, then you might hit the spam folder. But for the most part, if you're just writing good basic emails, um, which I'm going to show you how to do, you're going to be landing in, in the inbox. You're going to be hitting the primary folder and most likely not even the, the promo folder. You're going to be landing in there. And it's specifically because of these pieces of code uh, that are placed into your account automatically. Okay. So let me show you uh, what that looks like. Okay. So let me go back over here. So from this page right here. So let me show you. See right, right here where it says this domain has been verified. I'll go show you my other domain, which is the one I literally just hooked up uh, right before recording this video. Okay. Uh, this one has not been verified. So right here where it says verify this domain, it is in the process of being verified, which is right here why it says processing. Okay. It's currently processing. So once that's done, we'll go through. And what that looks like, okay, when you go to your DNS manager, what that looks like, you can see my one that is verified here, which is danieljcomp.com. And this is the one that I mail from. Okay. You're going to go over here, right? So it says manage DNS. Okay. You're going to click on manage DNS. Important. This is advanced stuff. Just hit continue. Okay. So you're going to want to make sure I, I need to double check this myself and you're going to want to double check this too. I know that they put the SPF record and the DKIM record in there automatically. The TXT record that you're going to want to add is going to be this one right here. I'm pretty sure you're going to want to add that in. And it's very simple to do. So as an example, if we come back over here, so let's say that I wanted to do that specifically for this domain right here. So Daniel J. Cump, if I click on that. So you see right here where it says DMARC, okay? It says DMARC configuration. This is really important to note. Right here, right here where it says your mail at your domain.com, you're going to want to change that inside of your DNS, okay? And this is just going to be one piece of code that you may need to add. So as an example, I would copy, if I was going to manually put this in there right now, I would copy this whole thing just like that. I'm going to hit Control C or Open Apple C, Command C if you're on a Mac. I'm going to come over here to my DNS. Obviously, it's already in there, but you see right here, you see where it says mail to abuse, okay, mail to abuse at danieljcomp.com, you're going to want to copy that same exact thing. So notice here, okay, the underscore D mark, okay, underscore D mark. And then from here where it says V equals. So you're going to want to copy this exact process. You're going to want to copy this exact process. Matter of fact, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go down to, okay, where it says D mark in TXT, okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on the document for you right now. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down one. Uh, we're going to call this DMARC. Okay. DMARC TXT code. Okay. So I'm going to make sure I set this up perfectly for you. So literally all you got to do is go ahead and copy and paste. Okay. So the host uh, your host is going to be DMARC, underscore DMARC. Okay, so host is going to be underscore DMARC. Okay, and your, the type is going to be TXT. So you're going to be selecting that. Okay. Type is what's called TXT. You're going to select that when you go to, and I'll show you what that looks like in about two seconds. And then your code that we're going to put in here, I got to make sure too many tabs open, too many tabs open. Your ta your code is going to be this right here, right from the V. Boom, we're going to copy that. So you could do it right here. You could obviously copy and paste it right from uh, BuilderAll itself, or you could grab the code right here from, uh, from this. And this is going to be called, I believe this is called the name, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, that, that's called the value. There it is. Okay. So here we go. Value is going to be that. Now, notice again, notice right here where it says your mail at your domain.com. You're going to have to change that. You're going to have to change that once you put this piece of code into your DNS. Okay. And again, this is going to help you get. Uh, in the inbox. So what we, what we do now, again, I already have this in here, but I'll just show you what it looks like. You're going to select TXT. 
You're going to hit add the host again, underscore DMARC. And again, you're going to paste that in here. Now, what you're going to do is remember what I showed you here right on screen. You're going to change this to abuse. Okay. And then my domain, which would be Daniel J. Com make sure you spell it right. Just take your time. Make sure you spell everything right. It should Your domain should be second nature, typing it out. So I have here abuse at danieljcup.com and that's the code and then boom. And then you hit save and then that is done. But again, I already have it in there. So uh, I'm not going to go put it in there twice. So that is that. I mean, that's a really simple and easy thing to do. Again, just follow along, go back, rewatch this if you need to, uh, but go ahead and do that. So that way, again, when you're sending, especially to Gmail, which is, by the way, guys, you need to know this, Gmail is 85% of the marketplace when it comes to email. When it comes to ESPs, email service providers, Gmail is 85% of the market. So you need to know what are some of the things that you got to do if you want to get in the primary folder with Gmail, you got to know some of these things. Okay. And this is, this is, these are some of that stuff. Builderall does that automatically. They put in the SPF record, they put in the DKIM record. And now you're going to be adding this DMARC record, this TXT record in there. And this is going to be, it's going to almost guarantee that you land in the inbox versus landing in spam. Okay. So once you have that set up, you are good to go. Then what you're going to want to do, once you get that DNS manager stuff all set up, you're going to go back here and then down at the bottom, I don't have the blue button down here, but as you're going and setting this stuff up, you're going to go here. So your domain is going to be in here. It's going to say verify this domain. You're going to go down and right here where it's going to say verify DNS records, you're going to click verify. Now, this could take up to... 24 to 48 hours, just so you know, it could take 24 to 48 hours to verify, which as an example, I did this yesterday and it still says that it's processing. But again, if you guys have any questions, here's a quick workaround. If you have any questions, and I've, I've had to do this process multiple, multiple, multiple times going through uh, while I'm setting up all my builder all information from your main dashboard, right over here, there's a big old blue button right here that says support. Okay. So uh, just in case my camera is in the way, I'll just kind of put some attention to it here. So you guys can see right here, it's a big old support button. Okay. So you can not only use, you can create a ticket, but they also have live chat and their live chat is super, super helpful. They will either send you screenshots or they will record quick videos for you. If you're saying, Hey, I have a, I'm trying to do a DNS thing. I'm trying to do uh, something with a mailing boss. I have a question on a workflow, a campaign or whatever it is. Go use live chat. They're very responsive, very supportive. Uh, I've used them dozens of times uh, for little questions like what we're talking about right here. So those are some of the basics right off the bat. So get your domain set up. Um, make sure that you have um, your DNS. Once you have the domain showing up in your DNS and you can go make sure you put this piece of code on there for whatever reason they may automatically do that. I know they do it with the SPF record. I know they do it with the DKIM record, but want to make sure that you also get the DMARC in there because those are the three pieces of code that you are going to need and want if you're going to be mailing from your domain. So when you go and you set up, you know, whatever the from name is, is going to be, if it's going to be support at, you know, your domain.com, if it's going to be info at your domain.com, you're going to want to make sure that you go ahead and add that DMARC onto your DNS. So that way you're almost guaranteed to get in the inbox. So set that up. So when this, once this video is over, make sure that you go get your domain, go get that set up and get ready to rock. Now, the other thing that I want to tell you about is tracking. I'm going to cover this in detail as we get into the other videos. And so, so when we dive down into mailing boss and we start setting up the email auto sequences, setting up the workflows with Builderall. When we go through that, we're going to be using tracking links. And I'm going to show you and explain to you why that is very, very important. Okay. Also, when we get to the page builder segment, I'm going to show you and explain to you why tracking is very, very important. Same thing. You guessed it. The same thing with SMS messages you're going to want to be tracking who is opening and not opening your emails, who is clicking on your links, who is not clicking on your links. 
you're going to want to know that information. So when you click this link right here, um, you're going to be taken to a page and you're going to be able to take a two week free trial with something called click magic. I've been using click magic literally for years and it is a life saving tool for you as an online marketer. So uh, what I would do for you is I would go ahead. You can see right here. It says, try it for free. Take a two week trial, see if it's a fit for you. But as I go through these videos, my friend, I'm going to be walking you through how to set up tracking links using click magic and also specifically where to put them. So as an example, when we get into the page builder, so let me just show you here as an example, when we dive into the page builder itself, I'm going to show you, you know, specifically, you know, there's, there's a link section here. I'm going to show you where to put these tracking links, how to put them in there, why you want to put them in there. And it's going to be very, very important. So when someone clicks on this button and they go to get, you know, more information, they go to sign into your capture page, they go to your, uh, whatever pages that you're designing here with the page builder, you know, you're going to get data and know when people are clicking on your links. Also, when you're mailing, okay, when you're mailing here with Mailing Boss and you're sending out emails, you're going to know who's clicking on your link and who's not. And you're going to be able to track that by day, by month, by week, uh, whenever you want. You're going to get, you're going to have that data. Also, what that's going to tell you is when you send out an email, if you send out a hot email and you get a lot of clicks, you're going to be able to drill down inside of Click Magic, and you're going to get to see how many clicks per day, week, month that you're getting. So you're going to know if you sent out a hot email and it got a lot of clicks, you're going to be able to see that data. Because again, what you measure improves. Remember in a video, it might have been this video, I can't remember. I've been talking for a little while here, but um, what you measure improves. Okay. So be a smart business owner, set yourself up for some good, solid tracking. So again, Go over to that sheet, click that link on the document, take a two week free trial and you can get uh, Click Magic, same tracking software that I use. If you don't wanna do it, that's fine, but you're just, you're not gonna have all the information that you want and need in your business and tracking is essential. So we're gonna wrap up, okay? So go ahead, go get your domain set up, go install that piece of DMARC code if need be. Again, use the live chat feature if need be. Go ahead and do that. If you don't have a builder all account, those links are down below. If you're catching this video halfway through, you missed a lot of information, the link for the entire playlist. So this whole builder all tutorial and review, the link for this entire playlist is down in the links below. Make sure that you go ahead and start from the beginning so you can see all the material that we're going to be going over and why I am choosing builder all as my go-to platform for page building, for emails, for automation, and you can decide if Builderall is a good fit for you. It's a great fit for me. See if it is a good fit for you. So in the next video, we're going to be diving into Mailing Boss. I don't know if we're going to fit it all into one video. I might need to make it a couple of different videos because there's a lot of information that we're going to be going over. Now, before, before you go ahead and dive into the next video, if you haven't set up your domain, if you don't have your Builderall account, click the links down below, get yourself a Builderall account, go get your domain, go get that set up then move on to the next video. Do not treat this like a Netflix binge watch. You know, you're not going to get a medal. You're not going to get a reward if you go and you binge watch all these videos and you take zero action. It's pointless. It's a waste of your time. Watch these videos, then go do, go apply what I'm teaching you and showing you. All right. Appreciate you. Thank you. Do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, ring the bell so you get notified anytime I post new content here in this series or anything else on my YouTube channel. I will see you, my friend in the next Builderall video. Take care.